to all our loyal subscribers, I say thank you. Your support is greatly appreciated. And to the regular viewers who are yet to subscribe, I have one question for you. Why? Because an evangelist once said, It doesn't bite! Hey, is that a fly? Let me kill that fly. I got it, I got no, it. No, wait, wait! <clears throat> Did I get it? Veronica, huh? what are you doing in this area? Huh? Brother Deolua. Good afternoon, ma. What hey. are you doing in this area? I should ask you first. My elder sister lives down the street. Oh, wow. You know, this is a choice area in Abuja. Yeah. So, if I may ask, did you come to see someone? What is your business in this area? Well, simply put, welcome to my street and this is my this is where I live. Is a lie. Brother Deolua, are you kidding me? Why will I be lying? Why are you saying that? I am very sorry, oh, Brother Deolu. Eh, are you living with someone or what? Well, I'm not living alone, at least not by myself. Okay. I guessed as much. Because, you know, ordinary people like you and I, we need to know our level in this country. Like my sister and her husband that lives in this vicinity, they can afford it because they are very rich. And my sister and her husband, they both work in the oil and gas sector. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You need to know your level in this country yeah. so that you will not pass your boundary. I keep telling people these things. You understand what I'm trying yeah. to say? So, eh, who do you stay with here? You know, my father owns this place. He just said to give me this place out of a lot of houses I have. His name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brother Adeolua, so indirectly, are you trying to say that this is your house and you live alone by yourself? Well, by the grace of God. <laughs> Brother Dulu, ah, Brother Dulu. Hmm. You see, we don't know who is who in this our church. Mm. Just like how God has revealed you to me now. That's how God used to reveal things to people. I am really pleased to know that you live in this type of house. And most church members don't even know that you stay in this type of area. Well, it's not what you think actually, but you know, because of the nature of my job, I just decided to just keep this from a lot of people. I, I want to be focused, I don't want to be distracted. But few of the brethren know my house. At least I've hosted a few of the brethren at some point. Uh, are you going to your sister's place or you are just coming? Eh, I'm just coming. Okay, okay. Eh. All right, no problem. <clears throat> Please, <clears throat> I'm very thirsty. Can oh. I get a glass of okay. cold water? Sorry. 
Please, please get me a, a cup of water. Open the gate and open the gate for me. Get me a gate. Ah, uh, uh, brother Deolua, I am not a stranger. No. Let me just follow him and get the water myself. Uh, eh? you bring it. Yeah, let me just follow him and uh, get the water. Eh? Oh, wait, We're wait, not strangers wait. now. Are we strangers? Hey, it's just water now. Eh, eh, I will collect it. it for me. I don't want to stress him eh. and I don't want to stress it. What? Oh. Eh, let me just say. Uh, You say you want water. Eh. This water. I will not take no, the water. No, no, he will give you the water. Let's go and take the no, water. No, no. Hey, Musa. Now wow. Ah, ah. So we just like wasting time. Good morning. Honestly, I don't even understand. And they will be ah. rushing us to end the Riaza on time. Can't even keep to time. Simple time, they can't. Keep. Uh, Veronica. Veronica. Hey. How are you? Hello, baby. I'm fine. Good afternoon. Ah, I hope I'm not late. Here. As usual. Hey. Yeah, I got it for you guys. As usual. Oh, thank Give me this one, bro. Give me that one. Ah. Oh, it's plenty now. Don't speak your own. Ah. No, sorry, please. I want to pick the yellow. Ah. I'll pick the red one. Ah. I have this for you guys. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> rush us, rush us. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yesterday, I met Adelu Aishola. Who is Brother Adelu Aishola? I don't know him. You mean you don't know Brother Adelu Aishola? Mm -mm. <sighs> How would I describe this brother? Mm. I don't know him. You mean you don't know one dark, tiny brother, Adelu Aishola? Wait, wait, wait. I think I know him. It's not one thing like a brother like this that is very black. Uh, uh, I know him, he's the one. Sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> God forgive me. But I was only trying to describe him, Sha. Mm. So what happened? He did propose. Ah, amen, amen, amen. Jesus name fire. I received that prophetic declaration for myself and my family. <laughs> but he has not proposed yet, Sha. Wait. Is it that brother that looks as if he has no money to feed himself? Ah, I know him. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Anytime I see that brother, he looks as if he needs food. Yes. Ah, wait, Seth. What work does he do? Because I'm not sure he does anything noteworthy in church. Vero, of all the able brothers in church, how were you able to discover that one? Or let me say, he discovered you. Mm. Well, Shoma, some brothers never know how to maintain their lip, always passing their boundaries. Honestly. Oh. See, sisters. You better let me advise you. Open your ears and listen. Mm. You have to shut your eyes wide like this. Mm. Mm. Eh? Because the people that matter will just pass you by and you will not even know that they matter in this church. Okay. See, somebody like Brother Dill mm. is just like a bomb. Mm. Mm. He head dead day. Mm. Mm. But sisters, let me tell you, shine your eyes. Because mm. the matter now is not by stature, or what they even put on. Back to what we were saying. I couldn't believe what my eyes saw yesterday. You needed to see the structure of that house when I saw his house yesterday. Ah, hey, nobody will believe that a single brother will have that type of house in this Abuja. Ah, oh, sister, now wow. So you've been to this brother's house without us knowing? Uh uh. I beg. Uh, 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 it's not what you people think. Oh, it's mm. not like that. Uh, uh, it's not like that. Let me explain. Mm. See, yesterday, it was a divine arrangement. Mm. The Lord orchestrated my step that yesterday. Mm. And I was able to see. Mm. You see, sisters, what I need now is your prayers. Continue to put me in your prayers. Mm. For what? For the Lord to perfect what he has started concerning my life now. Let's pray that the Lord will perfect what he has started concerning my life in the name of Jesus. Pray for me now. Pray. <laughs> But what could be the meaning of 
that dream because I don't understand it. That was why I went to his father so that we could pray about it. But I thought I was being fearful and anxious. And I wasn't. I saw it as a devil's strategic way of distracting him. A huge distraction. A spiritual and demonic networking around him. I don't understand it. Ah, we don't need to understand it before we cry. Cry unto God for his intervention. He reveals it to you to start doing something about it. We need to start interceding for him. I mean, we should not be like Rebecca. Rebecca? Yeah. You mean Rebecca in the Bible? Mm -hmm. What has she got to do with this? Mm -hmm. My dear sister, the Holy Spirit gave me the understanding when I was reading the Bible yesterday. Okay, explain. Women are the builders in the home. God loves to reveal some secrets to us about our homes, which will be hidden to our husbands, especially concerning our children and husbands. So that was why God revealed it to Rebecca, the nature of the seed she carried when she was conceived of them. I'm listening. You see, she was expected to take it up in prayer, or in serious intercession, when God revealed to her that the heather would serve the younger. That was to say there will be a serious problem ahead, which she must pray about. She received the information, but did nothing about it. The problem finally scattered the whole family and truncated the destinies of the children, if not for God's intervention. You're right. Whereas the prophetic declaration could have been fulfilled in an amicable and conducive manner if she had taken it all before God in prayers. So, God showed you the dream as a revelation because of your role as a home builder. You can start interceding for him from now, most especially his marital life. He will marry his wife. Amen. So come, let's pray. Lord Jesus, I don't really understand this strange feeling I'm having about Adeoluwa. Father, please help and have mercy upon your son in the name of Jesus. Father, I ask of you, Lord, that you scatter every arrangement of the devil concerning Adolua in Jesus' name. Whatever may be the plans of the enemy for his life, for his ministry, and even for his marital life. Father, I scatter by the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, my brother. Um, this is group five. Sorry, I've been with the, the, the other group discussing since. And we still have some other uh, ten groups. Who are those ready to follow the senior pastor to the mission field this year? Apart from, uh, from Bro Deolu and some other brethren that have shown interest. Hmm? Is, any, is anybody? Is anybody? Oh, ah, why are you people running away from evangelism? Eh? Don't you know that talking to others about Jesus Christ, preaching to others about Jesus Christ is a weapon against the enemy? Oh! <laughs> okay, Brother Lu, what was it? Um, thank you, sir. I just want to buttress what you have been talking about. Guys, I want to encourage us. Let's, let's have interest in this outreach and mission work. You know, God gave me this vision when I was in school. And God helped us to, you know, win souls and reach the unreached. When I was serving as a core member right here in Abuja, we were able to locate a remote village. And God also helped us to win their souls for Christ. In fact, my life is a living testimony of what God can do when we faithfully commit ourselves to serving Him. I pray the Lord to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, brother Deolu. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there anybody still want to decide and join the team? Is there anybody still showing interest? Ah. Oh, God bless you, my sister. Oh, what's your name? 
Veronica, sir. Sister Veronica, God bless you. Amen. Thank you very, very much. Uh, that means we still need some other sisters to join the team, please. And I would like you to please go back home and prayerfully think about it. So that, eh? so that we can have some other people that we go to discuss about it. Um, Sister Veronica, Veronica, you will need to see Brother Deolu so that he will give you the form to uh, enable him get your name registered. Okay? okay. Thank you very much. Now, wow, come, you tell me. Are you sure it was God that called you? Veronica. Ah, ah, you know I know you very well. I just really hope it's not what I'm thinking. Just clear my doubts, please. Like please. what? Ah, you, you that I know, you can't do anything or go any length to command attention. And I know you know what I mean. I beg, talk, 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 talk. Why are you people talking like this now? Mm. Is it a crime to serve my God again? Hmm. Eh? Instead of you people to encourage me, you are busy saying no, 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 what I don't understand. Oh, to encourage you. What are you saying? Even that Pastor Tony Bone oh, should have asked if you have ever followed them for ordinary evangelism in the city, not to talk of going for the mission. <laughs> My sister, help me ask her if she belongs to any unit in church. The drama units that she managed to join must have done wrong for more the place since. Eh? Eh? Veronica, tell me, why are you no longer in the drama group? Talk now. Oh, yeah, talk now. Talk now. She don't leave the place since. Mm -hmm. She said the fastings and prayers the new drama coordinator always asked them to do. They were too much for her. She couldn't cope. Oh. My sister leave the place with immediate alacrity. She <laughs> eh. <laughs> yeah. I should not come and kill myself because I want hey. to join drama group. I don't know the problem the drama coordinator has with God. Uh -huh. Every time fasting and prayer, fasting, I cannot come and kill myself. Oh. Now. I just have to excuse. Better uh -huh. think very well. This uh, mission where you don't join now, you know the kind of um, prayer and fasting that they do for the place? You go fast eh? You go fast eh? You stress yourself, too. This Veronica girl is wise. I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Wait, see. You don't forget. That tiny brother. What she said, she said for his sister's street. Now hey. 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 be the coordinator hey. for the mission. Hey. Not be this girl. Bro, bro, bro. Veronica. Ah, ah, Kule. Sister of God. Why are you people thinking like this now? Hmm. Ah, I thought you were all children of God. Hey. Let me tell you people something. You people need to be careful of what you think. Oh. Hmm. I only went to join the brethren because there was no sister among them. Hey. And God Almighty is my heart that my motive is right. Oh. How do you expect the brethren to cope without a sister? <laughs> and you are the, the chosen one. <laughs> Get out. I'm a very you know, said get out. Veronica. No, no, no. Wait for us now. <laughs> Daddy, hey, this lady is the will of God for me. I am so sure. In fact, the perfect will of God for me. Ah, sir, the way we met, our meeting was so divine. In fact, I didn't know that God can give me such a vision-minded lady like that. Let me let me shock you, sir. Can you imagine that she's the only lady, the only lady in our mission outreach, sir? She loves God, she loves prayer, she's so fervent, she loves the mission work. I can go on and on, sir. <laughs> Daddy, I'm so sure her mommy will love her. Hallelujah. Oh. Ah, this is indeed a very great news for me. Ah, it is an answer to all our prayers. Congratulations, my dear son. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now we're a man. And you should start preparing for your home. Ah, what am I even saying? What is there to prepare for? God has so much favored you. Everything is in place. Okay, sir. Yeah. God bless you, my son. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy too. I'm so happy. Uh, my regards to mom. Your mom? Ah, don't worry. I will extend your greetings to her. Okay, sir. All right, sir. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Have a blessed day. <laughs> my dear. But that was so fast now. What? I had all your conversation with that boy. I'm not comfortable with your conclusion on it. <clears throat> My dear, you are too sentimental. And that is your problem, eh? You still think Adeolu is that baby, that small boy of yesterday. But things have changed. 
Eh? Adeolu is no longer a small boy. He's a grown-up man now. And the earlier you allow that truth to sink into you, the better for you. Yes. I believe that. And no one is disputing it. But mind you, he's still my boy. Notwithstanding whatever position God has placed him today. Uh -uh. Look, I'm just trying to help you to free this boy. Adeolu is now matured enough to choose his own wife. Look, let's look at it. He's mature physically. He's mature spiritually and materially. What else do we want for God's sake? I don't want us to hinder his progress. And concerning this girl, I mean, God has not told me anything negative about her. I don't have any negative feelings towards her. Though, I don't know how, but I don't even need to know her. Provided God knows her. But I don't have peace concerning this lady. <sighs> Prophetess Abimbola. Ah, someone you have not even seen. That is it. I've had this feeling even before Jolu told us anything about her. But my dear, don't you believe in the spirit of God in me anymore? Okay. Oh. Adoluwa, don't tell me that. You just have to be patient. What's wrong with you? What's the reason for this hastiness? Mommy, because you fail to understand me. Mommy, I am matured enough. I am no longer a child. I know what is good for me. And moreover, I'm a child of God, and the Spirit of God lives inside of me. Adeoluwa, I know how you feel. You just need to be patient and see God's face on this issue. Did you just say patience? Patience? <laughs> Mommy, if you know the number of rivers I have crossed before I got here and learning about patience, you'll not be telling me about patience, Mommy. Right from when I was in secondary school. <sighs> I'm ready to do anything that will make you happy. So, can't you just make me happy by coming for my birthday party? I don't know what else you want me to do. Your friends know that I love you. I even told my mom about you and I thought to introduce you at the party. I mean, you said I need to be born again. And I've done that already. What else do you want me to do? And that is ready to send me abroad with whoever my future husband will be. I do. I have to wait. Till when? Till he speaks. I need to move on. I'm sorry. I, I can't wait. Eddie, I'm sorry. Please try to understand. Like, the, the, he has not said anything. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Mommy, that was the first time I heard God clearly. Not talk of many other situations that I also heard him. Mommy, I have found a wife for myself. I need a helper and a partner in my life and ministry. Adjuluwa. That is the more reason you need to be patient about this matter. The devil is afraid of your future home. Please, dear, be patient to receive God's best for you. For me. But why are you against this union? Why? Hey, you're not even mad this lady. You don't know her. You just don't like her for no reason. Daddy already approves of us. But you, I don't understand. Are you saying that we both don't have the Spirit of God in us? Adioloa, that is not the issue. Please, can you do this one thing for me? Do what? Patience. Just wait a little more. Till when, ma? Till he speaks. Till God speaks. I know he will speak to everyone. And I won't be the only one. Please, just allow God to speak to every one of us. Hmm? Or call me, Joe. Mommy, I don't know why this concerns you. I think I am the one that needs to hear from God and not everyone. Mommy, God has favored me. And it's high time you knew that your son must move on. Hmm? I must marry now. Eh? I'm gonna talk to you later. God will prevail. Ah, <laughs> mommy, they will ah. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. You actually took all of this trouble on oh, my account. Oh, no, no. It's okay. Since I knew you would be coming. Huh? So we had to get this ready for you. So kind of you. Yeah, mm. yeah. Back to our discussion. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. You see, um, according to the mind of God in his word, 
every godly woman has divine access to divine revelations because the home is their assignment from God. You see, he created them as helpers of destiny to their uh, uh, husband first, then the children, and even to nations. So my beloved sister, you see, uh, the, every woman is a helper. When they know God and are obedient to his word, the gift of God embedded in them will come to full manifestation. That is why women are usually more sensitive than most uh, men, especially in the home, because that is their first oh. and primary oh. ministry. Okay. Okay, I'm getting you, sir. Some revelations uh, may actually be from God. Okay. And then the truth is this. Satan equally manifests at times mm -hmm. as an angel of light just to cause confusion and bring fear that will eventually uh, cause some of these negative revelations that are not really from God to appear as if they are from God. You see, what uh, is happening here is that your husband is trying to prevent this kind of thing from happening. I know, sir. And that was why I told him we should be patient until the coast is clear. Uh, Mom Deolu, you will walk against fear. You see, when you know the power and the anointing that God gave to you as a woman, because this is your office. That is why women have assurance of God's backing, especially when they stand right with God. God reveals things to them about the home more than men, because that is their office. Oh, no wonder. I kept wondering why I didn't see anything. Uh, no, no, not because you are more spiritual than your husband. But it's because God will always keep his uh, covenant on the assignment which he gave to you, especially when you are close to him. So when God reveals things to you, it is your duty to go to the place of prayers and then uh, he's calling you into his presence to seek his face because you will need more illumination and more information on it. Uh, Mommy Deulu, your husband may not see anything. But you are the builder. It's your duty to build your husband and your children. I think that's why I missed it. Mm. I expected him to understand. Oh, <laughs> he may not understand because it was not revealed to him. But as you continue to seek more clarity, the Holy Spirit will begin to walk in a way that will even be beyond your own understanding. <sighs> God, I see. Thank you, Mommy sir. Mommy Deolu, you have that authority. Please use it to establish righteousness and peace in the life of your son. By the grace of God, you see, he will not, I mean, everything will fall in place. Uh, um, it is well, it is well. Mama Deolu. Mama Deolu, where is this woman? Can she hear that her baby is crying? Mama Deolu! Mama Deolu! Mama Deolu! You are here? Your daughter has been crying now. What is wrong with you? You are crying? Am I? I know! I know! Come on, call him my sin. Mama Deolu, you are crying now. I'm eh? not. What is going on? Eh? Mama Deolu, you just came from Lagos. You are full of life, you are happy. Sharing testimony of what you have heard from a teacher. Eh? But all of a sudden, everything just changed. Have you forgotten so soon? Ah. You better don't allow sickness in your body. I was blessed, but I wasn't expecting this. What is it? Julie is coming home with the lady. Julie's dad told me that he's already gone to visit the girl's parents. I wasn't expecting this. I don't know what to do now. My spirit is not settled with this girl. What are you going to do? Or you don't know what to do? Eh? No. 
teacher said I should be praying. And I've been doing that. <laughs> but you have been operating in faith, not in faith. You have not actually stood in the office of the home builder you are meant to be. And that is what teacher actually emphasized to you. Okay. I'm listening. Okay. So what do you want? What do you want God to actually do about the lady? You said your spirit is not right with the lady and you don't want her to come now. Because my spirit doesn't agree with the lady. I don't think she's right for Adiolu. And everything is moving too fast. Ha! They just met like two months ago. And he's already prepared to take her to the altar. I want him to spend time to pray more. I want him to be patient. I want him to wait for the will of God. The call of God upon his life is great. And he needs a lady that will be a helpmate for him. Okay. I knew all this you are telling me. In short, you don't want the lady to come now. You want God to stop him from bringing the lady now. Yes, exactly. I don't think she's a lady for him. Okay, now tell God what you don't want. Take God to stop the relationship. Mm. And that God should begin to make it clear to everybody. Including is that. Tell God to remove the veil and separate them. You can stop the relationship now. Okay? That is the authority you have as a home builder. And the anointing will begin to work on your behalf. Is that all I need to do? Exactly. That is what you have to do. Please, can we both pray about it tonight? Mommy Diolu, we have been praying before now. We have been praying together, including all the boys. But now, I will advise you go to God yourself now. Spend this night to tell God what you want God to do for you. And then spend the night to praise and worship your father. <laughs> yes, now. Mommy, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so relieved now. Thank, thank you. Thank you. What's so what? Ah, Jumoke. What? Our friend wants to marry. Hey! Ah. Who among them? Huh? And when? Ah, that sister is something else. She wants to marry in two months' time. And she actually wants to rush that brother. You know, I thought she had a plan on along. You have started hmm? speaking in parables. Speak up now. What are you talking about? Jumoke, ah. okay, Jumoke, okay. you are not current at all. This is my problem with you. Uh -uh. Do you have other friends again? I obviously mean Sister Veronica. Ah. Ah. We met at the choir rehearsal yesterday. And she didn't tell me anything. Eh? So. Who is the brother? Where is he from? Jesus. Where is he from? Oh God, Jumoke, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you for crying out loud? Uh -uh. Why well, you know dear daddy when she was gisting us that she met a brother from church in one of the choice areas in, in the city and how she managed to enter his living room and now she eventually volunteered to go with the brothers for the mission and we wondered why. Oh yeah, that's true, Veronica who has never followed us for ordinary house-to-house -house evangelism. Exactly. So it was the brother she went after and not so. Exactly. Oh. That lady is desperate. Uh -uh. And that brother does not know her. <clears throat> Should I shock you? You know I know her very well. I'm actually even enduring this friendship. Ah. Uh -huh. So what do you know about her that I don't know? Ah, something is wrong with her sister. She's actually used to that lifestyle. Yes, she loves to get engaged to innocent brothers so fast and so easily. Mm. And that makes me even doubt her Christianity at times, honestly. Mm. And before you know what's going on, she dumps them without any cogent reason. Ah, Ferenka needs her prayer. Oh. She needs her prayers. Mm. Well, Veronica, that I know is very prayerful. Okay. And I think she loves the Lord. But she should not do any else to that gentle brother. Oh. All we need to do is to advise her to stay faithful to him and marry him. Marry who? God forbid in Jesus' name. I don't even pray for it to happen. Uh -uh. 
marry who? That brother is too simple and innocent. Even the Veronica that I know might not marry him. Oh. Yes, she just wants to have a taste of him. Veronica is good at sucking men dry and eventually leaving them. Ah, 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 your ma. Mm. Why are you saying this for Christ? Because this is not the first time she's, she has agreed to marry a brother. Mm. Ah, ah. Once she has sexual intercourse with them, she just drops them. Uh, even her last relationship almost killed her. Yes, it led into pregnancy. And do you know what she did? She went ahead to her body pregnancy. Yes, and she left the brother. This is what I'm very much aware of. And you're not telling me that such sister is fine. I honestly don't think so. We... Ah. Even if I choose to agree with you concerning your... Uh, I mean, your decision about this lady. Your mom is not yet through with her in her spirit. <laughs> in this jet age, sir, sir, will she live in the same house with us? Sir, I don't care. As long as my spirit is right concerning her, I don't care about anybody else's spirit. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you there? <laughs> yes, my boy. We are not seeing anything, sir. Deolu. Your words are strange. This is not the Deolu I know. I'm getting scared with the way you're handling this matter. See, boy, patience. Patience is one of the components of the fruits of the spirit. If your mom asked you to be patient concerning this matter, has she asked for too much? Of course not. Now, even if you are right and she is wrong, now, why can't you honor her by exercising some restraint? Just be patient. Sir, but my dad is not seeing anything negative concerning this whole matter right from the beginning. Why? Because he trusted my spirit. But mom has always been fearful and suspicious about everything. Ah. Oh, okay, Deolu. Now I understand. But please, just honor her by um, doing what she wants you to do. Don't forget how you got to this stage. Humility to God and to your parents. Don't forget what the Bible says in Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on the land that the Lord gave to you. Honor them. When you do this, you'll be prolonging your life in the land of the living. Hmm. Okay, sir. I will do that. Uh, and sir, I would like to bring her to come and meet you because our plan is to settle down and face the mission work as quick as possible. There's no time. Oh, good. Okay. Now, how is the lady? Uh, is she also involved? <laughs> Sir, <laughs> our God is a perfect matchmaker. She's even more rooted in this outreach and mission work, more than I thought. She's ready to go with me to any length for the gospel. And that was why she suggested that we marry fast and get moving for God as soon as possible. Oh, good. Congratulations. Uh, you see, this is great and this is God. But uh, do you remember, what your mom said must not be discarded. In this matter, patience is very, very important. Don't rush into this matter for whatever reasons, uh, whether physical, spiritual, or even any reason for that matter. It's important to exercise patience. Okay, sir. Um, thank you, sir. I will call her and apologize to her for my rude behavior. And I will promise, sir, that I will be patient. Very good. Uh, I'll be praying for you. And my regards to the sister. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll do that. Uh, now, um, what did you call her name again? Veronica. Her name is Veronica, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, greet her for me. And I look forward to seeing her. God bless you. All right, sir. Thank you, sir. Joma, what Veronica. did you say? Veronica. 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 What exactly are you referring to and why do you look like this? Yeah. So you want to pretend that you don't know what you have done? After you revealed all my secrets to Jumoke and you know that Jumoke is a sister to the pastor's wife. So you want the pastor and his wife to be discussing my matter in their house, Abby? And you don't know me, oh. Veronica, calm down. I was only concerned about the young man, oh, that you should leave him alone if you are not ready to marry him. And you shouldn't do to him the same way you did to others before him. Uh -huh. And what is your problem with that? Is it your business? So you are just working with me as a friend, 
receiving various gifts from me, different precious gold, jewelries, wigs, precious attires, and you don't know the sources of where those gifts came from. Chioma, and you cannot keep my secrets. Veronica, I am sorry. I am very sorry. But I just think since we are friends, we should be able to tell each other the truth. <laughs> and what is the truth? You think you know the truth, but you don't. The truth you know is in the church and not in your heart. If truly you know the truth, Choma, you wouldn't have received all those gifts from me without knowing the sources they came from. You shall listen to the word of God and obey it to know the truth. But now I will show you the truth. You have been living with life before. You know the truth. Oh, no hurt me, Veronica. I will not only hurt you. I will kill you. You should not have received those gifts from me. You ruined your part of the agreement. And there is always a price to pay. now. I thought you would have gone on by now. It's already late. I know I don't like driving at night. Okay, you know what? Just maybe she just it's enough so that I can I will see money to go and drop you. Huh? Brother Deolu. <laughs> you know it's already late. Yes, so um I was thinking that why don't I just pass the night here? I can sleep downstairs. Or um, we turn it to a video. You know, we still have a lot to pray about, especially your mom that is saying we should be patient about us and so many other things. Yeah. My mom is not a problem at all. See, I assure you, when you meet my mom, you love her. She's only telling us to practice patience and don't forget that patience is a fruit of the spirit. So let's just do what will make her happy by honoring her. And I'm sure that we'll be able to live long together. Hmm? At least that's what my mentor told me. <laughs> You mean that man that she reports you to? <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> what do you mean by report you to? Never mind, dear. Like I said, I was just joking. Better. So, um, am I sleeping here or what do you suggest? <laughs> Hello? Okay. Oh God. These things keep failing. I need to move very fast on this boy. This boy has a lot of forces around him that are destroying my plans. One meeting is just what I need. Yes. yes. Because there's still one more thing you have not done. That boy is a danger to us. So you have to move on him very fast. The time is not on our side. You said there is one thing I have not done. 
weaken his body. Do it in the physical, since you have access to his food, and in the spirit by permitting him in his dream, so that his spiritual sensitivity and activities will be reduced. His prayer life, word life, will be reduced, and you will have access to his body easily. Veronica, he calls me. Nothing can be done tonight again. He has just been warned by them. You must leave very fast. Veronica. Um. Sister Veronica, let's go. I need to drop you off. You can't sleep here tonight. Brother Deulua, I understand. Um, we need to be very careful about the flesh. So what I'll do is I'll call a taxi. You don't need to drop me tonight. Right. Brother Deulua, I am really sorry about my actions earlier. We shouldn't have um, given room to the flesh. Because we should have been more careful. And I know that um, I was not supposed to be in your house at that time of the day. So I am really sorry. See, I know how it feels. Um, and I'm very sorry too. At this point, patience is very important. Very soon we'll be married and we won't have any restrictions. Mm? Ah, yes. No more in Jesus' name, amen. Fire. <laughs> you know you have not told me you love me today, Brother Deulu. Anyway, I love you, Brother Deulu. And I am happy that God gave me a man that fears the Lord. Only me. <laughs> oh, I love you too. Oh. I really wish you were right here beside me so I can touch that your nose again. <laughs> I know it's not easy, but then we'll have to wait. <sighs> yes, dear, we'll wait. Okay, I think we've spoken for a long time now. Good night. Uh uh. So soon. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock, and this is what you call young girl, Yawa. Good night, sister. Thank you. Good night, and make sure you see me in your dreams. Okay, no problem. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Dear Ulu, you must be very careful. I know you are already in a relationship with this lady. But the fact remains that you are not yet married. Huh? The word says, let in the things he stands. Take heed lest he falls. Imagine a lady in your house at that hour, almost 10 p.m. Ha! Huh. Anything can happen. Eh? As long as you are in this flesh, Deolu. Be careful to protect this body for God, because he owns it. Okay, sir. I am very grateful for your spiritual rules in my life. Yeah, myself and Veronica, we have started to be very careful when it's fought. I know God you help us. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, you called me? Yeah, yes, sir. Um, it's not necessary again, sir. I just, just be praying for me. What is going on, Deolu? <clears throat> Actually, I just wanted you to counsel me on something. And you are ashamed to say it? <sighs> Sir, my dream of late has always been very, very bad. I'm always waking up weak and empty. I, I always see myself having sex in my dream. Sometimes with a lady, sometimes with a man. Can you imagine, sir? Having sex in my dream. It has been a burden in my heart. Hmm. That is the spirit of pollution. And uh, such an act can weaken you spiritually. It is the uh, activity of uh, evil spirits. This is the right time to rise up and be prayerful. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I mean serious prayers. Both in the spirit and in your understanding. Uh, uh, you see, my boy, <laughs> you will do something. And I want to ask you, 
Are you going to be faithful to it? Yes, sir. What is it? I, I will do it. Eh? I will do it, sir. We will embark on seven days fasting and prayers together. And um, I will join you in the fast for the first three days. Uh, yes, the first three days in marathon and then the remaining four days. Uh, you break the fast in the evening. I will not join you in the last four days um, because I have some engagements. But I will join you in prayers every night. Uh, this is the time to use the sword of the spirit against the enemy. Um, God bless you. Uh, you can start today, right? Ah. Uh, 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 oh, okay, sir. Oh, too fast, you think? You've not taken your breakfast, right? Yes, sir. I know you don't like your dream and how you feel. I'm here recommending the right medicine for you. Look, if you are sick and the doctor prescribes a medicine for you, uh, are you going to use it immediately or, or you will postpone it later? Oh, come on, come on. Rise up and be a man. You are, you see, you are anointed for that matter. Okay, okay, sir, okay, sir. I'm ready for this. Thank you, sir. Thanks to God. God bless you. Do me, do me. Good afternoon. How are you? You that you just abandoned me since all these days. You refused to call me. Oh, Veronica. You that I called several times to inform me about Choma, but you refused to pick my calls. Ah, Choma that I informed about my wedding and she told me that she was going to tell you. You people just neglected and abandoned me as if we are no longer friends. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, my God. Do you know that Choma has been terribly sick and she has been in the hospital for almost a month now? We are even praying that the Lord have mercy because the doctor couldn't even diagnose the nature of her sickness. Choma. No. The Lord will heal her in Jesus' name. Amen. No. So, Yonko, how are you? And that's pressure for the wedding. <laughs> Don't leave that brother. Oh. You are so lucky to have him. Uh-uh. Why would you say something like that? It's not as if we are not planning to get married. It's just that. I think it's because his elder brother is not married yet. And you know how African parents handle situations like that. So we're just trying to take things slow. So, how is the brother not getting married affecting you people? Anyways, just keep praying. That the Lord perfects everything. Mm? And that brother, be nice to him, mo. marry him, mo. <laughs> and be praying for us. <laughs> pray for us so that we too, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, where are you going it. to? I want to go and buy something now. I need to go and meet you, hey, Let me just come and follow me. Let me buy something. I will not take something. I just want to pick something. Let's go. Shall we have one? Oh Lord Jesus, I receive strength and grace to wait upon you in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. I walk in your counsel and your purpose for my life. Oh, dear brother, kata, kata, kata. I come against every plans and purpose of the enemy. I come against every counsel of the evil and the wicked ones, oh God. That let your will prevail over my life. Let your counsel stand in the name of Jesus. Let your will be done over my life. I receive grace. I will not lose focus <laughs> in the name of Jesus. I will not lose focus, <laughs> Lord. I will not lose focus. I will not lose focus. For it's in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. <laughs> Sister Veronica, grace me, you're welcome. I'm so sorry to disturb you. Um, I just quickly wanted to prepare the soup, arrange the groceries, then head for choir rehearsals. I'm actually very sorry. You know, today is Friday. I, I forgot to tell you that I'm having a special prayer with my father and the Lord. I shall even inform you when I called you and you told me you were coming today. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. No problem. So, um, are you done with your prayers now? I know it's a special prayer. If I could have asked you to join me in prayer, but because I didn't tell you ahead of time. That's fine. You know that you don't need any permission to talk to your father in heaven, right? That's true. Okay, so um, let me just 
prepare the soup okay. and arrange the groceries, then maybe I may join you for your prayers or whatever. Sorry, Veronica. I think you just put the put them in the freezer. There's no point because I won't be eating for the next few days. Why? Why now? What's going on? I, I hope there is no problem. Uh, there's no problem actually. That's just the way I'm being led. Okay. If that is how you're being led, then it is fine by me. Thank you. So let me just um, arrange this one in the freezer. Okay. Right. And maybe I can even join you in my own little way. <laughs> I love that. Lord, I will not lose focus. Father, help me to stay focused on my destiny and purpose in the name of Jesus God. I will not be distracted. I come against every plan and every device of the enemy. Help me to remain focused on you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are done. So, um, I've put the ingredients in the freezer uh -huh. and um, I've arranged the groceries as well. Okay. So just let me know if you need any help. Sure, I will let you know. All right, Thank you so much, love. All right, right now. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ah, Lord, I will not lose focus. I will remain focused on you. I shall not be distracted. Help me, Jesus. And I will stay. Um, Adeoluwa, you did not call back to inform us that um, you will no longer be coming. Maybe you had forgotten. But we are all waiting for you. Eh? In fact, I, I even invited the house fellowship uh, passed over so that uh, you could meet. Look, my son, you have to apologize to your mom because of what she went through. She had to cancel a very important meeting because she said it won't be fine for you to come over and not meet at home. I am very, very sorry, sir. We actually wanted to do what you asked us to do. And, you know, teacher also advised us concerning it just to make mommy happy. Sorry. Well, I think that's a good idea. Um, even the Bible says in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Then, you know, my son, I, I discovered of recent that uh, you cannot be too patient. Then patience is one of the fruits of the spirit. Um, I hope um, my daughter-in-law, uh, Veronica, understands. Ah, <laughs> yes, very well. In fact, she accepted it with joy and she cannot wait to see you and mom. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, by the grace of God, your mom will be coming over to pay you a visit. And I'm, I'm in agreement with that. Since both of you couldn't come over um, and uh, you have gone to visit her parents, you just think it's, it's good if uh, she can come over and meet Veronica so that they can discuss, you know, like uh, mother and daughter now, <laughs> you understand? But I won't be coming with her. Oh, mommy wants to come. I, I, I would love that. Both of you can come now. I will send the flight ticket to you. No, uh, no, my son, no. Um, let her come first. Um, by the grace of God, I will come later. And there's no problem with that. Okay, no problem. Uh, but where is mom? Um, she's somewhere around the house. I think busy doing something. No women. <laughs> but I'm sure she'll call you back. Thank you. God bless you, my son. And uh, greet Veronica for me. Eh? All right, I'll do that. I'll talk to you later, Daddy. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye, son. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Welcome, sir. <laughs> Nice to see I'm you so again. To see you Good too. boy. Good boy. Welcome, <laughs> sir. Where are your jeans? Right, right there. Okay. Uh, ah, <laughs> the surprise this is cool. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ah, yeah. Wow. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Olu, nice to see you again. Good to see you many, after many years. Right, right, right. I was so surprised to get your call. Yeah. I, I never expected that you were going to be in Abuja. I thought you were in Lagos. Oh, actually, I wanted to give you a surprise because God surprised me too. Wow. You see, as at this time yesterday, I didn't plan to be in Abuja. 
Exactly. But here I am. Because <laughs> when we spoke last, yeah. you didn't tell me you had an assignment in Abuja, sir. In fact, the surprise is not enough. <laughs> because I didn't plan to let you know that wow. I will be driving in this morning. But wow. I decided to call you when I landed. <laughs> but, sir, you need someone to come and pick you up to my house because you don't know my house. <laughs> Adeolu, is this coming from your mouth? You've forgotten who I am to you. You mean your international vice president will not know where the, <laughs> the uh, president of the Young and Visionary stays in Abuja? Uh -uh. You see, I get updates of your exploits and uh, of everything you are doing here, including where you are based here in Abuja. You should know that. I'm sorry, sir. I feel like you should have come by a drop. I should have personally come and pick you at the airport. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Well, you should know quite well that uh, it doesn't take anything from me uh -huh. because I could as well have put a call across to our office here to send an official car mm. to come and pick me. But then I would be creating unnecessary awareness. It's a private, quiet visit that's led by God. So I'll just sleep tonight. Tomorrow, I leave. <laughs> Yeah, wow, really. welcome, sir. <laughs> thank you. Pardon, my man. I'm just so excited to see That's you, sir. That's okay. <laughs> and thank God we have very good hotels around here, sir. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't need any hotel. Besides, I believe today is the last day of the fasting and prayer program we talked about. Yes, sir. Today is the last day for the marathon. But I'll be starting the normal fasting for the next four days. We'll be breaking every evening from tomorrow. Like very you good. Me, sir. Very good. Exactly. That's why I'm here. Because I have a strong leading in my heart to come over and join you in prayers on the last day of the uh, marathon phase of the fasting. Wow. I am sorry, I came in without notifying you ahead of time. Yes, huh? sir. I am very honored to have you in my house. So, in short, I am allowed. Yes, sir, you are allowed. Sir. Great. I count it as an honor and a privilege That's to host you. Okay. Right okay. Thank you. <laughs> Father, Lord, we have come oh, Lord, because, because you are the author and the finisher of our faith. Oh, Lord, we lean on you. The very purpose for which God sent you to the world will not be truncated. Amen. Yeah, no force on earth, no force underneath the earth, no force even in the ear will be able to truncate your Amen. destiny. The hand of God rests upon you, Jehovah. I will look up my eyes onto the ear. Yes. From yes. whence cometh my help. From whence cometh my, my help? cometh from the Lord. Who made me heaven, heaven and earth. And the earth. You will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Mm. He that keepeth thee. Hello? Mommy, at the airport. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Brother Deolu. Brother Deolu. Deolu. Brother. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good oh, morning. I am the one calling Brother Deolu. Oh, I didn't okay. know somebody was inside. Oh, I am so oh. sorry about the noise. Sir. Oh, not to worry. Not to worry. <laughs> you must be Sister... Veronica, sir. Oh, yes, Veronica. Mm. You are the sister uh, Deolu has been talking about. I mean Deolu's fiancé. Oh, <laughs> nice meeting you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you, sir. Mm. Um, and you must be Deolu's teacher from Lagos. Oh, yes, you are very correct. I came in yesterday. Uh, really, he didn't know I'll be coming in. Uh, I didn't know either. Uh, by God's grace, I'll be going back today. Okay, mm. because he didn't tell me you'll be coming into town. He only mentioned a special prayer or retreat and he said it's going to last for three days. I thought it should be over by now. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, he received a call from his mom. We just came into town. So he went to pick her from the airport. Uh, he will be back very soon. Yeah. His mom. Right, his mom. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> um, okay. Size. So is there anything you'd like me to do for you? Or maybe something you'd love to eat? Or... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. Huh? Thank God you, bless you. Uh -huh. Enjoy your stay. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Mm.
What is wrong with this boy? He didn't tell me his people will be coming here. What is the business of his mother here at this time? I don't want to see that woman until I gain entrance and full access into the life and body of her son. Maybe I should go fast before she comes back. But this teacher has seen me already and he knows I am here waiting for him. This is serious. I need extra spiritual backing now to arrest this situation. Where your boy lives, oh. <laughs> wow. I mean, Congratulations. Thank you, man. Hey, I'm so happy. You got the glory, hey, man. To God be all the glory. Let's go inside, man. Let's go inside. Is that teacher is around? Yes, he's around, man. He's inside. Okay. He's inside, man. To God be all the glory. Ha. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure you are happy. Sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, how is your family too, sir? We are all doing good. We thank God. Okay. Thank God. I'm, I'm so grateful to you, sir. Mm. Yeah, Jolu told me why you are here. I'm so grateful to you. Thank you so much. Ah. To God be the glory. Yes, so to much, God be sir. the glory. May God keep us till the very end. Amen. Of Jesus. Amen. And I will be able to speak with Daddy Jolu before you go to Lagos. Oh, yes. I would like to speak with Mr. Ishola. And uh, Jolu. Sir? Um, Veronica uh, came in this morning. I mean, your fiance. Yeah, um, you've not seen her? No, you mean Veronica is around? Oh, yeah, she came uh, in. She didn't tell me she's coming. Veronica! Veronica! I believe everyone. Sister Veronica! You didn't tell me you were coming. Mommy! Good morning, ma. Good morning, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Mommy, how is everybody? Uh, uh, sorry, oh, please, excuse fine. me. I'm getting my things in place for my flight. Okay, sir. Mommy, how is daddy? That is fine, thank mommy, you. Mommy, how are you too? We are very fine. Thank you, thank you, man. Ah. It's him, man. It's him, Who are you? Who sent you? Oh, you are here to touch the Lord's anointed. <laughs> I stand upon the rock of ages and I command you, speak in the name of Jesus. I said, speak. Who are you? Who sent you here? Yes, I said, who are you? For last second. You don't need to shout. I have no business with you. And you have no business with whoever sent me here. This is my assignment. Deolu will not be the first. Neither will it be the second or the third. We have been commissioned to pollute people like him who think they carry enough fire to pull down our kingdom. Many people like him who have dreams and visions, but we don't allow those dreams to be fulfilled because we think they're dangerous to us. We have been commissioned to attack them and render them useless and unusable for their Lord. But you missed it this time. Ah, because I proclaim in the name that is above every name Amen. that as many of our young ones as you have held in captivity are set free. Amen. Oh, they will fulfill their vision. Amen. They will be strong. Amen. And they will declare the name of the Lord to their generation. Amen. So shall it be in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> we have polluted many like them. We have polluted them with lust. So much that they can't dream.
dream and see visions. <laughs> they have been polluted with lust of the flesh and of the world. We are winning. We are winning. Shut up. Shut up in the name of Jesus. A palivers in Turia. Ah, listen. I stand in the blood of Jesus. Ah, with the power bestowed on me by the Holy Spirit. I made this declaration concerning you that as many as you have held in captivity and bondage, ah, they are set free now. Oh, because it is written in the word of God in Psalm 2 from verse 1 to verse 6. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a veiled thing? The king of the heart set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bonds asunder and cast every cord from us. Hey, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall take them in derision. Then shall you speak, shall you speak unto them in his wrath and in his gross displeasure. Yes, I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I therefore break asunder and I break in pieces and I shatter every of your manipulation against our young men and women in Jesus' name. It is equally written in Psalm 2, over verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and you will take them in pieces like a potter's vessel. In the name of Jesus, all our young ones are set free. They are delivered. So for this reason, I command you, let go. In the name yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Go, go. Go. Yes, Lord. Yeah, my leaders and your Father will thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. So, that Jesus, that the your daughter is awaiting your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. That you go down with your healing power. Chumoke, Chumoke, I can't feel any pain again. Chumoke, bring your hand. Eh? I'm free. I can't feel any pain again. You're, you're, you're okay. I'm free. No pain anywhere. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Eh? I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I have to take my leave now. You see, time is no longer on my side. My flight is at 5 p.m. Uh, but I thank God that I've been able to accomplish the mission that He sent me here to carry out. I really thank God. And uh, I mean, it's for His mercies, honestly. Well, before we pray and worship God, I'd like to congratulate Deolu, because if it had not been for the Lord, it would have been a different story we'd be telling. And uh, well, you must know this. He fought for you. Jesus did this. Hmm. Teacher, this is too much for me. Forever will I praise you, Lord. Mommy huh? Deolu, I thank God for your life, honestly. I thank God for a woman like you because you are indeed a woman, you are a gatekeeper, one who was not asleep. Because if you had uh, slept off spiritually, <laughs> only God can tell what would have happened. And Diolu, thank God you took heed to all these spiritual instructions that came your way. Because there are many like you who have uh, the opportunity to be counseled just like this but they disregard all instructions. You know, they go their own way as if they know everything. And by so doing, many destinies have been truncated, many dreams have been messed up. Sir, everything still seems like a dream to me. Ah, thank God. You see, as you desire to get your dreams fulfilled, my beloved, always know that the enemy of your soul is always on the prowl. It's not sleeping. Everything God said or showed to you will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thought the amen would be bigger. Amen. Hey, by God's grace, those dreams will be established. Amen. But now this is it. Your assignment is to walk right and humble yourself. Humble your heart 
in absolute submission to God and His Word, reject pride and uh, listen to godly counsel at every point in time. You must humble yourself and give place to His Word because God gives grace to the humble. You remember what the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. God resisted the proud and gave it grace unto the humble. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this great deliverance. We appreciate you because you are God. Yes, I am.